yes. We have a special, special, special guest in the building, OG herself. Her name is Neola. Hey, <laughs> welcome. Why are you laughing? So I guess I said an OG. People will be surprised. OG. Yeah, OG. Yeah. For Twitter, By all rights. Twitter, their yeah. timeline is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know shit. They don't know shit. That's the <laughs> that's <laughs> double entendre. Okay, so Twitter, yeah. their the timeline, timeline is different. Bars. 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 The new know, tiger. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. I used to rap. I tried to rap, but yeah. the Lord yeah. showed me early on. <laughs> <laughs> my calling is not to be had in my calling. So what's your calling? My calling. My calling is where I'm here now. But you're still behind the microphone. Yeah, but it's a different mic, you know. You're not speaking yeah. bad. Let me just quickly say something. Yeah. So I told a friend of mine that I was coming. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? He was like, Are you sure? Are you sure you want to go there? I'm like, Why? Well, next guy. Next guy. I don't know. It was like, you know, very. He was like, I don't know. I don't know. You just have to be prepared. I'm like, Prepared for what? That's what? All we do here is inspire. Just, just talk. Inspire. We're um, um, feminists here. Yeah. You know? I know all we do here is just motivational, <laughs> inspirational but discussions. You people, just uh, be careful in this Lego. That's all I have to say to you. I, I think, I think, you know... We don't actually go anywhere, so... Especially you. We don't go anywhere. We don't go anywhere. So they're not going to see us. We're actually office, home, office, home. We actually don't go anywhere. Between office and home, is your home next door? No, not sure. But when we enter, when we are in between, they can't see catch up. No, but, but, Niola, the way you said this thing right now, giving me acrimony vibes. Acrimony vibes. I have to take it my back now. No, I'm just looking out for you. Okay. I'm not okay. looking at it's all love. I don't think yeah. you let's keep it PC this year. You don't like this But the, no, the year that's almost done, which year? Which year are you talking about? 2018. We've been actually nice this year. Yeah, we're actually compared nice to last year. year. Yeah, yeah, we've been nice. We've been nice, this year. We've been nice guys this year. Last year was a bit rough. Yeah, it was. Yeah, last year was a bit rough. People, you know, people, people ignorantly wrote on half post about us. You know, yeah. But I feel like certain conversations are actually necessary mm -hmm. um, because um, a lot of things that I don't know whether I don't I'm, for lack of the right word a lot of things in <clears throat> our industry yeah it's like there's no information a lot of people don't know a lot of things exactly. because there is no conversation exactly it's been had and it's because somebody's scared to say certain things so that the next person doesn't look at them as yeah. crazy but. We need to actually have certain conversations yeah. to put things in the line. Definitely. I totally agree. And these conversations don't even need to be controversial. They That's the thing. Like, it's just having these conversations. It's like how we had, you know, K Solo on the podcast, right? right. And so many backstories he gave us that yeah. people don't know. And we're really happy he gave us these backstories. Uh, because we, we don't have a culture in Nigeria of keeping records. Yeah, we, don't, true. we don't have... We don't, if I wanted to research about certain artist in the shout out to it, see. Mm -hmm. he was telling me some stuff about artists from yeah. like Tony Tetwila yeah he does like, he likes oh he I likes was that like era. that is so um, because there's so much stories yeah, to be to told be too, about yeah. how we got where we are today a lot of people don't even know the first thing True. about how we got here today True. about True. how we started getting MTV based awards mm -hmm. how we started getting our videos out how we started even making the music that we make today. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't know. So I think this is this is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And that's why we have you here. <laughs> you know, and when I mean OG, I mean it, right? <laughs> OG because, you know, you're a veteran in what you do. A lot of people don't know again because they don't know. They honestly <laughs> don't know. Right. Don't know. They honestly don't know. And, you know, they try and do the Googles. Nothing comes up. What comes up is two years ago three yeah. years ago four years ago five years right. ago as far back as even maybe eight years ago mm -hmm. yeah. but it's it's it's, it's still not it's not it's, it's not, not detailed enough mm. it's not as far trust yeah. me it isn't it isn't so how are you doing what's the first thing man how are you i'm, I'm okay you know I, like i said this is the first interview that i'm doing okay i took a break a very long break also it seems and this is the first time i'm actually being interviewed in a year it's the wow. first time it's good. I've said no to a lot of interviews and gigs in the last year, and this is the first time. I was like, oh, Zaggy, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. No problem. No problem. No problem. So why did you choose to go away, though? It was a lot of things. Um, I just, I was in a different space mentally, and I feel like every artist or every creative has to take time away and, you know, uncover new discoveries about themselves that you know you have to evolve and i was in that phase where i just felt like i don't think i'm really portraying what i want to portray as an artist i don't think that 
if you went and listened to my songs, you would catch the slightest glimpse of who I am as mm. Neola. And that that had always bothered me, but I just didn't know how to go about it because I didn't have as much control over um, a lot of things that that was um, put out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I also was trying to figure out who I was as a person, as a creative. And so I needed to take that time away. And incidentally, a lot happened to me last year. I lost a very close friend of mine in April. And um, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and then my mom passed a couple yeah. months after. And like, Sorry to thank you. And it was, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was a sieve. Everything that I've been trying to work out for the past two years yeah. suddenly came to me, and I was like, yeah, this is it. Mm. I need to get, I need to get the hell out. I need to take a break. I need to take a minute, and yeah. I need to figure out what I was doing. And there was so much pressure. People would say a lot of things like, "Where's the music? We need more music." Because I never stopped recording, yeah. really, even but while like putting the music. But on. I was, I would listen. I'd be like, "Yeah, no, this is not what I feel right now." And I feel like we do music for different reasons. Mm. You know, like I'm not, I, I feel like I finally figured out why. So why, why do you do music? I think that music is is one of the things that was given to me. Um, <laughs> the way I was talking, looking at me like he's expecting me to drop a bomb. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm very big fan, you know. And we've never talked extensively. I know we chat and yeah. stuff, but like. I'm a very, 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 very big fan oh. of you and your music. You know, Thank I listened you. to your first album back to back, you, you know, throughout school. Like, oh, wow. I'm a big fan. Thank you. You know, and followed your career. So, yeah. So, yeah, I, I feel like music was given to me because I actually do have something to say mm -hmm. and I have something to do. I've always been bothered about, if you, you, you said you followed me you would realize that at every point in time, I've always done one thing or the other to, for women. And this is not the whole, I'm feminist, whatever, whatever. No, man, no. this is from the Tet Mosul. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. done With things. Ashion, yeah. There was Ashion, and yeah. then there was um, Unity 5 that Zeal and I yeah. and yeah. a couple of people were working on because I feel like a lot of, a lot of the problems that we face as a, as a society stems from the fact that we don't, a lot of people don't know what their identity is. Facts. And as they say, if you empower a child, a woman, you emp and you know you the empower a child to the title yeah. because you know the woman is the mother, yeah. the woman is the wife. Yeah. She's the she's she's. If you have male friends and female friends, you would tell that your female friends. That's will, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, different. It's, you yeah, know, the woman 100%. is 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 the one who eventually becomes your wife, mm -hmm. and she's the one who eventually becomes the mother, mm. and she's the one who's she's teaching you. You know, it's always like, in that cycle. Yeah. Exactly, and. And I feel that a lot of women don't know who they are, and that's why we ha that's that's responsible for half the problems that we have in our society. And it's always bothered me that why is this? Mm. Why is this? Because I encounter people on on individual basis, like from even when I was way younger, and I'd be like, no, why do you think like that? Mm. Why do you think like that? And so I realized that on my own, one way or another. I would always have people that I would just always like give advice to or mentor, knowingly or unknowingly. And a lot of people would say you should do something about it. And I'm like, like what? Like, you know. Yeah. And then when an idea would come up, like maybe Techno Soul Girl Power, I'd be like, yeah, that's great. I want to be a part of it. Unity Five would go to Bar Beach and pick women who were destitute and tell them, listen, there has to be something that has been deposited into you that can make you better than mm -hmm. we. Now, if you feel like you want to sleep around to get by, that's great. I'm not judging you, but let it be that that's because you want to do it, not because you feel like there's no other way you can mm. get by. Yeah, 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 I've always yeah, yeah. believed that there is a choice. It might not be the easiest one, but you always have a choice. Mm. And so back to the question that you asked me, I feel like the reason why I was given my gift is to help people and to, and to, to empower people and to make the world a little bit more beautiful. Yeah. And that's the reason I've been given my gifts. And if I'm not doing that in whatever way that I'm making my music, whether I'm talking about let's go to the dance floor or whatever, you notice that I have always told my story from a woman's point of view because there are people who would just listen to my music and be like, you don't know what your song did for me. Mm. And that's what I live for. Some other person, maybe their dream is to be 
I want to be the one who has the biggest hit. For me, no, because I think that success is relative. Yeah, that's right. For me, I want to be the person that people looked at and said, because of you, I didn't give up. Because of you, I knew I could go one step further. And that was important for me. That's why I had to take that step back that. and be like, okay, what am I really saying? What do I want to say to people? Yeah. And it's, it's, I, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. That's a lot of work to do. I have. I mean, you've done, you've done, you've done well, but like. No, I don't. I don't think that. Sometimes I think that I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, I mean, compared like, if, if you compare it to like other people, and you know, just not even, not even female artists, like mm -hmm. everybody, you know, like you said, anytime like you listen to your music, it's very opinionated. Mm -hmm. It's very strong. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. It's not surface. Right. You know, it's not surface, and I think. I, 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 don't, I don't know and I'm asking you <laughs> has that been a challenge at any point in, in creating music where you're like just keep it surface and keep it moving where you're like no yeah. I need Lamba. to put some deeper yeah, yeah. I, have uh, had, <laughs> I have had I have had I have had okay I always say to people like I'm very um, layered shout out to Kemi Adetiba I remember when I started having these I was like I would go to the studio every day but I'd be like there's something missing the songs were nice. Mm -hmm. That's when I was working on right, the album that I was supposed to release on Hear Me. Yeah. Like, it's nice, but there's just, I don't know. I feel like my breath is not in it. That, that's how I used to describe it. Like, yeah. you know how God created everybody and yeah. how yeah. he created yeah. Adam and then he now gave it his breath. Yeah. I'll be like, I feel like my breath is not in it yet. And that's why it's not ready. And that's how I felt for the longest time. I have tons of songs that mm. I put to the side because I just felt like never to be released. One day, maybe, hey, maybe one day. Open that vault. Open that vault. <laughs> one day, maybe I'll give them to other people to sing. But yeah. you see, mm. like, it's important to me to to own the space that I'm in mentally. And right now, I, I feel like like when I did the last song that I released was "Where's the Love" with Adiko Gold. We used to talk, we had conversations about working together for the longest time. And people would say, oh my God. When they would see him comment on my post, I'd be like, you people should do a song. Do a song. It would be great. Do a love song. I'm like, yeah. I said to him, we're not going to do a love song. It's going to be a love song, but yeah. it's not going to be that type of love song. Yeah. And I said to him, you have a voice that is, and I'm going to speak in Yoruba now. You have a, a voice that is, um, what's about you? <laughs> and you have a voice that is very piercing mm. you know people that sing odes yeah yeah that's the kind of that voice can, that's that you have right, yeah. and i said that if you and i get yeah. together and do a song that has a message people will listen and i said let's do something like that and that's how we came up with where it's the mm. and while we were recording he was like new like this song <laughs> he kept saying you like this song i everywhere. need to put it on my album everywhere <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere that I would play, you know, people would be like, yeah, this song. And it was as soon as I released it that I I heard that my mom was diagnosed and wow. we started running back and forth. forth. And so I had to put that on pause. Yeah. Yeah. So that gave me even more peace. That song was like a stamp to tell me that, yeah, this is where you need to be. Yeah. And it was just, I was, I was worried about everything that was going on. That was when the elections... Mm -hmm. um, in America, um, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Trump, then Nigeria, and the whole Boko Haram, a whole lot of things were happening. I was just like, this world that we're living in, is it ever going to get better? <laughs> um, no, I, 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 you know, like, I feel like it's never going to get better, but maybe we're here to make it a little bit more bearable. Mm -hmm. You yeah, do yeah. your part and then pass the button to the next Where's generation the and keep going. And that's where that stemmed from. And I've had situations, in fact, from back in the day. God bless OJB. Tell me so. We're gonna talk about it. We'll um, talk about it. When we would work, he'd be like, "Your voice is too strong." <laughs> he'd be like, "Your voice is too strong. Make it simple. Make it simple." And then I started to try to sound as plain as I could. Yeah. Fast forward to some years later, I started working with Emma, and Emma would be like. You have it in there. Bring it out. I'd be like, what are you people doing? Why are you confusing me? So yeah, I have had, I've had different situations where I would have to be told to suppress who mm -hmm. I was, and I would be confused. Like, 
my guys. Why do I have to but when I'm listening to the people that I listen to, my influences like yeah. Rachel Pharrell, when I listen to Mariah, like hmm. she's allowed to be a lot of things depending Powerful. on what song she's Getting, singing. Yeah. And um, it's been quite the trash. Why do you, why do you, why do you think it took it, you know, such a long time for you to kind of like you know realize yourself, like know yourself, what your purpose is, and all that? Um, I think that every you have to go through a process. And you have to learn what you have to learn. If you don't learn, you're not. It's like you, you write an examination. The fact that you write it doesn't mean you're going to get to the next class. If you don't pass that exam, you're going to stay in that spot and repeat and repeat and repeat until you pass your Sorry, exam. Quick one. Any, did anybody repeat here? Yeah? Well, in Nigeria, you need all the accounts to pass. Yeah. You do you repeat the No, I'm no, saying no, primary no, school, no, secondary no, school. No, no, did no, you no, hire? Technically. But you, but you moved to <laughs> another you school. Moved to another school. Yeah. Yeah. school. Yeah. 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 So I had to go. Okay, okay. Yeah. I have been in primary school, but I moved from one school to I moved from Lenin Field to Mary. Well, straight up. So you live in Satellite Town? Yeah, for a minute. Interesting. Yeah, for a minute. Still in Satellite Town. Yeah, I left there in 94. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really Close B, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Shout out to Satellite Town. Sounds of Town. Hell. This is fun. It's not fun. I just opened his first tank. It's not fun. I don't like traveling. I don't like going up. He hasn't left Lagos, by the way. So when you tell me you have to go to first tank, I'm like, why are you? Where do you live? Oh, but. Because after. That's not traveling. Yeah, but it's after I came down. I only come here because they pay me. <laughs> fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I want to ask you a question, funny question. Talking about people not knowing their history, how many times do people say, If I had it, if I had it, if I had to get paid for every time that has happened, I'd be oh, rich. <laughs> I'd be rich by now. So people like, oh my, that your new song is really dope. I'm like, I, I, I love like Maradona. Maradona, Maradona like, as well. Yeah, that's mm. not. That's, that's not me though. My husband proposed to me with Maradona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be mean, like, that's not me though. Uh, do you, that, like, does it make you mad? I don't know. Oh, okay. Why would it make me mad? No, let's, I just asked. No. Yeah. Other people take it, you know, yeah. that why do you think I'm that person? Like, I'm, uh, I mean, the, the names are kind of similar. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. the pronunciation yeah. of the names. Some people are not Yoruba. You know, but what, what the one that pisses me off <laughs> is when people call me Niola. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> like, it looks like, like a very young yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, like, no, and then I'd be like, no, okay, like I went to my friend last week, and you know how you call at the gate and they'll let you in. So she yeah. left my name at the gate. When I got there, I said Niola. The guy was like, Niola or Niola? I'm like, oh, I, I, I know my <laughs> name. It's not my own name again. They'd be like, Niola. Like, sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's go back to. We like to time travel here. It's okay. We're big fans of time traveling, so let's go back to the very beginning. By the way, I know your sister. You said that. Yeah, your other sister. So she used to do some recording. You know, thinking about it now, I was talking to somebody, and she might have been recording a podcast then, Is it? and I didn't know it was a podcast. But she used to do audio recordings, yeah. and I was a recording engineer, yeah, so I used to take yeah, her vocals. Yeah, 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 yeah. And me and my guy, yeah, I was I was a, I worked as a recording. Engineer. I used to get 300 naira every day um, at, at Tycoon's place. Shout out to Tycoon is hip hop. So he used to take vocals or I'll take two vocals. She used to drive like a space bus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we used to talk about you once in a wow. while. Like the music, I just say, hey man, I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell her. Small world. How is she doing? She's fine. She's in Canada now. Wow. She escaped this, this <laughs> country. Lucky her. She escaped this country. She had to. She had to. I mean, I advise everybody too. Really? Yeah. So yes. why are you still here? Um, well, I'm planning. <laughs> I'm planning. I'm looking for someone who has a wife who has a green card. But I thought you didn't like traveling. You no, know, for that I'll travel. <laughs> but that's my home. So I don't, I don't, that's not travel for me. Nigga said that's my home. Yeah, America, Canada. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm fine. We, we love Nigeria. We love Nigeria. We, just, we love Nigeria. We love Nigeria. We love Nigeria. We love Nigeria. Anybody who has the chance to escape should, should, should. I love Nigeria. Like so, back to when it started with you. Yes. yes. Let's start from the very beginning. Very beginning. When did you first hear of Neola? Let, let's go there first before we go to the beginning. I can't really remember when, mm-hmm. but it's been like a very, very long time. Don't make me now sound like ancient of days. <laughs> no, 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 I can't really remember when. Yeah. You know, I used to ask you know, I used to uh, was yeah. she the one I had with Fears yeah. and Rogers? Yes. You know, I used to ask yeah, this question yeah, yeah. a lot. Then yeah. that was the period. Shout out to Kalini. Yeah, oh that's that yeah. was the period I started hearing about. She hates when I talk about it, by the way. She hates when I talk about, about that, that Rogers man. Oh, the yeah, Rogers man. Yeah, because we went to do that double album. They went to do that album. That double album. 
face, broken man, we will we'll never forgive you for that. Never, album. never. There was an there was there was an album album out now. Yeah, there was an album oh, yeah. they yeah. dropped the single. single. The single was banging too, man. I don't know why. Oh, I think yeah. I asked Roger when he was here the last time. I can't remember what he said, but yeah, they never got to do it. Yeah. Imagine. Shame. Shame. And you know, this was Ah no no, because fuck it. Things. Yeah. And that was good old days. Yeah. When music wasn't done for money, which of yeah. course I mean, you know. There but like it was passion filled. Yeah. Anyways, okay, so when did you first discover Niola? Yeah, uh, not a big uh, LD head. Yeah. LD fan. Yeah. yeah. So I was always trying to catch every information about tribes men, the yeah. tribe. And I just heard one whisper that is a chick called Niola. Yeah. I said, okay, then I listened to our song, I think called Cool FM. I think it was the first time I played it. Yeah. I think that was yeah. Which one? With pipe? No, 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 no. Was, um, bring it on. What's, what's the name of the cross? What's the cross? Uh, which one? Does it bring it on? No, maybe. Thank Kilo you. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then that was one I knew about Niola. Okay, great. So, I knew about Niola the wrong way. But I only <laughs> figured God. out earlier this year. Right? Uh. So, on the intro of the tribes, oh yeah, there's some vocals there, right? It's a party, mm -hmm. come join me. And I thought it was Niola. Maybe she had a cold that day because it doesn't sound like you're on a regular. Mm -hmm. So I just hit, you know what? I was listening to the album recently, like some months back. Mm -hmm. And I'm always so happy because LD, yeah, like anytime I have yeah, something, yeah, I just yeah, hit him up on WhatsApp, yeah. like, hey. And he's always available to yeah, say yeah, this, yeah. that, you know. <coughs> and I'm like, who is on this? Well, I need to know because that's when I knew you. Like, I think I read about you in Hip Hop World magazine or something. I kind of just traced you, and I thought that that was that it, was, right? Yeah. Uh, but but this was after like a while blah blah blah. So I thought I was you, and it was like, no, that's this person. I can't even remember who he said. I think it was when he prayed. Or and and it, it just fucked my mind up. And I'm like, for years, <laughs> I actually thought. But it was Miola. Yeah. Was so I think the first time I heard your vocals then was on. It had to be Adara. No, 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 Adara. It had to be. There's a record. The one before. What's the record? Is it Rock the Mic? Yes, thank yeah. you. Rock the Mic. Hey, we are. We rock the mic. Yeah. And that's when. So, the big picture. Remember the album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when I started to really discover, like, who oh, this is this person. I hadn't heard Bring It On. Interestingly, I heard the record with Pipe. Okay. Um, Masheke. Marie. <laughs> I wish you had like a deck here, we could just play no. music. <laughs> but Sound, SoundCloud, has, SoundCloud has even won those. Like, no. To calm the fuck down. Much, yeah, we play too much music. Oh. And we don't have the rights, the copyrights oh. for this music. And you know, some files they might take down there. So Drake, Drake taught us a lesson. So. <laughs> <laughs> Six gold. so I'm just on my best behavior. But like, that was one of the records, you know, I first heard. Um, and I think it was on. The West Side Music Compilation album, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and I, I think I still have the album at home. By the way, I have the Tet Muscle album at oh home. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I, all those things. So that's when I now heard of you. Then I okay, OJB production. Mm -hmm. You know, Paul play some Paul play here. Yeah. Some freestyle, make some noise here. Yeah, yeah. Some and noise. okay, this was the person. Then, you know what about me, Well, I don't is that know, your there vocals? Two, no, there are two versions. Yeah. Because I had done a version. Sasha's a wabba me Yeah. Day. I think it crashed. The LD system had crashed, and so I think there shout was out to the Pentium twos back then. Yeah, <laughs> so they had to have they had somebody else do it, and that was Winnie for it. So I don't know which one it was. Wait, are you, you trying to tell me? Y'all can do it like my home girl. Yeah, I did. I that's did. your voice. You know, no, I don't, I don't know which. That's the thing. There's like two versions i'm so gonna i'm gonna go and play here okay <laughs> no the, the one that was officially released yeah. was with winifred okay. was with winifred the one with the video was with who i don't even know i don't know sounds like your voice but i did record the version of the yeah, yeah originally yeah fantastic so how did you get in the whole space hmm. by accident hmm. i was um <clears throat> i was just a girl who liked to yeah, she's obsessed with music and I never liked to watch TV. The only things that I liked to watch were um, Asian films because of the martial arts mm -hmm. and Indian films because of the music and the performances, you know? Yeah. But, but TV was popping in the 90s. TV yeah. was popping, but I didn't really like TV yeah. because it was just too, it would take too much of my time. Yeah. So. Hello, social media. I know, yeah. it would take too much of my time. I'm like, I don't have time for this. I had my Walkman and I was good. 
and um, and I was also in boarding school, so we didn't. Really Which boarding school? I went to quite a number of schools. I went to Queen's School, Ibadan, mm -hmm. and I went to HGS. Um, What's HGS? A Belkta Girls Grammar School. Okay. That's the school my mother went to. Is it? Interesting. Do you still and do the girls' reunion thing? <laughs> I mean, not me. Yeah, they do, but yeah. I've not been. I've you not should. Really you should. Yeah. <laughs> because. Because I didn't graduate from there, so. Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. So. Mm -hmm. Which primary school did you attend? Uh, I went to Auntie Yemi. Auntie Yemi. You know, I always thought those Auntie Yemi and Auntie Ayos never existed and it was a joke. Until <laughs> someone like, no, I went there. I, I went to Auntie Yemi. <laughs> I'm like, for real, for real. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I was just doing my thing and then my sister had told me about some competition that she heard about, Circle of Stars. But were you listening to music at this time? What? I so lived on music. I was, I lived on music. Because my brothers were like, music heads as well yeah. i would listen to a wide i would listen to anything i've listened to Ella Fitzgerald. i've listened to hmm. michael jackson i'd listen to rachel pharrell will downing Celine Dion, mariah whitney um <clears throat> i'd listen to jazz i'd listen to country music because of my dad i would listen to all sorts of music even good women choir yeah because that's what my yeah. mom like you know stuff like that that my mom likes to play and i actually used to think that Especially with Mariah, angels used to physically, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I didn't think it was humanly mm, possible possibly. to compose music, music in that manner for it to be that melodious. I used to be like, it was. I thought, I literally did think that angels used to write yeah, songs. Yeah, write songs. Yeah. Well. But I just didn't know how. So, how do they give it to human beings to eventually <laughs> sing it? <laughs> You know, like, no, you're waiting for the ministry. <laughs> and you know how in the Bible they talk it's about another how, level of grace. Oh, <laughs> oh how they talk about God. You know how, how you know they used to sing. To, the angels used to yeah. sing to God. Yeah. Like, how do you get angels to give you music? I want. <laughs> you want a song? I want a song. <laughs> you didn't go. You didn't meet one Yoruba woman at the time. Yeah, man, there's somebody I'll take you to. <laughs> 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 Man, she's, she's, you she know grew, they are more she I'm going Lagos, to yeah. become a Yoruba. She grew up in Lagos. One of those Yoruba women right. one day. So be careful. Yeah. I'm a Yoruba just, just, you, you, you're, not, you're not roping You're not getting yeah. yourself out of this one. Oh, just, sure. yeah. And they are not editing it. Where are you from? Yeah, uh -huh. Where are you from? <laughs> oh, I'm in Ghanaian. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually pass for you. Pass the day. He's from Ugeli North. From Delta State. He's from Delta He's from Ugeli North. Delta. I'm not from Ugeli. You're like that. You're from Ugeli. No. Where are you from? Why are you running from your tribe? No, you're yeah. from Ugeli forever. Ugeli forever. <laughs> I can't even say it right. Yeah, yeah. So, my dad, I think my dad had noticed that I liked to sing. Yeah. And he called me one day and gave me like a higher grade notebook and told me to write, compose choruses for the morning devotion. Shout out to your dad. Shout out to Shout my out dad. To yeah. yeah. And he, he, he would. He was like Something just he was like just anything that comes to your head and that's how I started writing. And he would make make me lead the chorus at devotion. And then there was I'm something like, just talk about devotion, man. Yeah, yeah. At times. <laughs> Money devotion. You'd be time. sleeping. I couldn't sleep, man, because I had to be the one to see. That's the most traumatic period of the day. Yeah. Never wake up at six AM. Yeah. I'm only still five thirty. Five thirty, because everybody had to now go get ready. And and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Was like, the when we were supposed to carry breakfast and breakfast and on Saturday. 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 Why? <laughs> Why this torture? We are going to church the next day. <laughs> it's too much prayer is no good now. Ah, ah, God. Anyways. Yeah, and that's that's basically how I started writing. And then what happened? Okay, no, no, I did a competition. Yeah. yeah. And no, it wasn't a competition. It was like a thing where my church they had this convention and they were like. The church was also. Um, worldwide Church of God. And my dad would tell me, you know, so when you want to go high, you need to breathe in, and they were prepping me for this yeah, performance. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. And I performed. It was at that the. That is a G, right? Yeah. My dad. Yeah, yeah. Sure, <laughs> it sure. was actually my dad. Yeah. And my mom got me this really no no not yet. Then I I performed at the convention. We had a lot of people from all over the world. It was really big at the tr um, trade fair. Remember the trade yeah. fair center? Mm -hmm. And as I was singing, people were crying. Wow. That's when I was nine. I was wow. eight, wow. eight or nine, and I was like, hold on. 
Put it on here. That's when I knew that I could sing. Because wow. I didn't know. That's when I knew that I could sing. That's when you knew you had been touched by an angel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's when I knew that I could sing. And it kind of started from there. And it started from there. So I would always, when I would, when I would do my chores, I would always sing along, like the songs that I heard. Because I've never had any formal training for music. That was how I trained myself. I would just sing along. Oh. Was it? Pure talent. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you grew from there. And secondary school. Recording, recording. Yeah. recording. Okay, yeah. So I did the Circle of Stars and I, I wound up first runner up. And from there. What's the Circle of Stars? It it's was a competition. A, a competition done by Gold Mine. The Little Saints. Okay, so I volunteered as a. I volunteered to work at the Little Saints Orphanage when mm -hmm. I was like 14 or 15. Why? Why? I just needed help. I just wanted to help like these kids have no parents they're all friends and I just thought that I could do something to make them you know feel better about yeah. life so I would go there and then um, I would volunteer to teach them how to sing and teach them how to dance and um, this was after Circle of Stars and from there Sound Sultan and no 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 Phase. Yeah. FaZe and I were super close. I think I met FaZe at the competition. Amen Starlets. Hmm. In 2000. 2000. Wait, Amen Awards. Amen Awards. Yeah. They had a starlet competition. Oh, wow. wow. And then I did the competition. I was very young. And I was like the youngest. There was me. There was a Bijano. Yeah. Mm. There was MC Fire. There were a whole lot of people. And I was first runner up. Wow. Who won that shit? It was MC Fire that won. Shout out to oh. MC Fire. MC Fire. Yeah, Do you know MC Fire? No, I'm not saying shout out to him. Nah, I'm shouting out to So, know. he won, he got, and then he that's got, where... He got consumed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he got burnt out. He burnt out. He burnt out. He was burnt out. <laughs> forgive you. Amen. That's how I started, and I met FaZe, and FaZe and I got really close. When you met FaZe, was he, what was he doing? Was he... Where his FaZe was? Plantation was Boys. That was Plantation boy, Boys. Okay, so then. it was Plantation Pop in. Boys then. Popping like real time. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. They were popping at the time. I'm trying. Sound Sultan <laughs> was popping at the time. Babadi was popping at the time. Sound Sultan has almost everybody's common story. See, almost everybody's story. Yeah, there's a Sound Sultan. And I started backing up for Sound Sultan and Babadi. Wow. Governor's Delta that you found it. Yeah, I've heard that song for like years until you sang it. I had performed that song with him at the awards, the Amen Awards. Wow. And that's where I just found myself in the middle in the middle of all the stars. This is what I used to watch on TV. And then um FaZe was like, Oh, they wanted me to do a song on the Plantation Boys album. Hmm. I was like, Me? I think I just graduated from high school. I was like uh, I don't know, <laughs> and then I started going to Festac to go into that's the plantation the, villa the headquarters. <laughs> Festac and I started is the going to the studio. So you were in that midst of Brown. you know the the music boom oh, in Festac. Yeah, wow. I was. Wow. But I was Nelson Brown. Nelson ah. Brown. Is it Nelson? Yeah, Nelson yeah. Brown. Yeah. Nelson yeah. Brown. Nelson Brown. Dove, and, dove, I, dove. and I did the song with um, Faze. That was around the time that Plantation Boys split. I think it was a year after that Plantation Boys split. So wow. that song so that's Days ended up being Phase's song. Okay. Yeah. Phase's album. Yeah. That's a. So that's right. New two Phase. The first album. Phase, Phase, Sultan, all of them from. And then um, that's also where Paul Play found me because Paul Play was a judge on the Starlets competition that I'd done. Shout and out to Paul Play. Shout out to Paul Play. These people, I was like their baby. They'd be like, this little girl, she's so talented. Let's do something. I'd be like, no, 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 I'm not ready. Because I didn't understand how it worked. And I was just like, what are you guys talking about? Come yeah. and do music. What does that mean? You and know? they were like in a rush. Let's just get this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then through Phase, I met Two Shots. Hmm. And Ooh, Two no Shots, more. I mean, Two Shots used to come to Sultan's house when we would have rehearsals. I used to go to perform at. Uh, the shrine with yeah. Sultan. I used to perform at the shrine and uh, back <laughs> off. Yes. First out Sultan and then two shots introduced me to LD. Wow. I went for Oya video shoots. Yeah. Mm. And was that the first time you met LD? 
Yeah, that was the first time I met LT. What? Who is this? I don't plan already. Like. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. That was the first time I met LT. No, 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 no. No, that wasn't the first time I met LT. That was the first time I met Freestyle. Okay, mm -hmm. that was the first time I met Freestyle. Okay. <laughs> so I met LD and then LD and I started talking about working on music. He was like, you should join the tribe. I'm like, yeah, no. Like, you guys are all rappers. Like, what about you? He said you'd be the only female singing. You'd be the only singer. I'm like, yeah. cool. And so I joined the tribe for a very short time. Yeah. Um, and I did rock the mic and a couple other songs with them. And what even happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I left the tribe because there was some controversy then. Yeah, yeah, between, I mean, it was about to break up. It was about to break up. The tension was already be... rising between LD and Free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't LD and Free, to be honest. And I really. We, do, we actually don't know the story. I really, I really don't want to get yeah. into it. Yeah. I really don't want to get into it. Yeah. But, you know, that's none of my business. But yeah, the group was about to split. Yeah. Well, I, then, okay. I want to ask you why was the group about. I don't want to tell me. The, tribes, no, tribes you, you were. You were. And I don't need you to go into details, but. Like what was it? I don't know. Was I it egos it was clashing? A, it was ego, It was definitely egos clashing, and I feel like. Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey man, see, see, no, it's you know, you know, you know, see, LD. It was definitely egos um, clashing. There were a lot of stories. Some people say it was because of me that yeah. they split. Yeah. I mean, how? Yeah. But I did mean, you pick sides? I, I didn't pick no sides. It looked like you picked sides. I didn't pick sides. It looked like a pixel. No, Do you pixel. know that it looked like a pixel? You pixel. I really don't care how it looks. But <laughs> <I didn't pixel. laughs> nice one. I really don't care how it looked, but I didn't pick sides. Um, Freestyle and I were good friends. Mm -hmm. I'm always the type of person who just naturally gravitates towards the person who is not the most obvious. Yeah, it's so, a you know, yeah. and that's who he was. And we just we just bonded because like, he's very intelligent. It was very. I thought it was very intelligent. He is very. Intelligent. Yeah, and we just connected on some level. LD is very, very intelligent. So LD and I are really, really close. Everybody, Sasha, everybody. But um, there were just some things that I thought even generally were just, you know, over the top. Um, we were, everybody was young and trying to figure this thing out. Yeah. So there was to be, there were, there were, yeah. It out, yeah. Were, everybody was just tr trying to figure stuff out. So a lot of egos clashed and that's what I think that was. It wasn't necessarily a freestyle LD thing. It was a whole lot of things. Yeah. Um, it just so happened that that was the avenue that that was. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. It yeah. looked to me, in point. retrospect, it looked like, it looked like a Big Bang Theory. That's how it looked like to me. How? <laughs> Because you have these three guys, LD Freestyle, and don't forget KB the Detonator, yeah. doing some amazing things, right? And they're doing so much amazing things, mm -hmm. it has to spread, right? And they bring these other guys on board mm -hmm. and give like Sid, you know, <coughs> Daryl, you know, shorts. Two Shorts, Blaze, Sasha, and the they, they kind of spread it, and everybody now is involved, and it becomes mm -hmm. something even bigger. Mm -hmm. And that can't be together for long, exactly. man, because it's too much the talent. talent the exactly. way too much. You know how the, it's too much. Timmy, don't yeah. forget Timmy. Timmy the black one. You know, Timmy the black one. Like it's too much. Even Blaze. You know, yeah. and, and and it's too much, and it has to explode. And, yeah, and it's it was that easy explosion. For that to happen. It was easy for that to happen. I have because a theory. It's an interesting. It's yeah. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's not. It's a, it's a very misunderstood and and things in a different way but not everybody would understand that for mm -hmm. you like your difference and your reasoning is different yeah. and like I said everybody was young and didn't really know how to contain their depth and like how that. you know yeah and how how communicating yeah, and, yeah so I think that's really what it was I don't think anybody not even LD or KB or freestyle meant to disrupt you know mm -hmm. anything it but just so man, happened it was fire. It was fire. It was SWAT root and the Yeah. Mod 9 yeah. LD. I mean, Mod. sorry, Mod 9 uh, um, Terry OD. I'm for, for, um, sorry. Um, Terry um, the um, yeah. Six Foot yeah. Plus. Yeah. You know, and they were doing a shout out Solo D. Yeah. And here in the South, yeah. it tribes. Tribes, yeah. tribes, man, man. And it was the tribe. But then maybe go in your life, man. And I thought I'd meet all of them there, but alas. Uh, you don't want them to graduate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know about right that. My friend still saw freestyle in school, though. I yeah, me, he, me and freestyle actually started the diploma together. He was in geography, I was in Moscow. So I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first I was still around, so hey. Yeah. And, and to me, and I think that explosion had to happen 
if that explosion didn't happen, I have, I have a theory that that explosion led to why Storm Records is kind of successful to today. Yeah, you can say that. I'm, I'm, I'm put it, I'll put it out there because it now happened that Sasha signed with Storm, yeah. right? Two shots eventually went and That's did one right. album there. LD also did yeah. his comeback yeah. album with yeah, Storm, Storm, you know, yeah. had the distribution deal mm -hmm. and all that. And Sasha's debut album was the that album. Sasha yeah. was that album. For, 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 when you talk about, when talk about top top fifteen, top twelve A and R albums. That Keep album was there. Yeah. And that album was the test base for for Nito album. Because yeah. yeah. it was mm -hmm. VC Perez, it was TY Mix, <laughs> it was Sasha, Damn. they were they all collaborated yeah, and that gave birth after that album they did Nato's album and that gave birth to the Nato album which is like the one of the I mean yeah. best rap albums we've yeah. ever had yeah. with yeah. so, so it's crazy how all those things just you know yeah. they had to happen. So how did you meet Sasha? I, met I mean Sasha. how were these sessions like? They were really dope, you know. We would meet every Sunday and just vibe. Where? At LD's place. LD had a place at Ecole Lulu, it's really there, yeah. where we would always converge. And so this is when the movement of the first act sound was, was now moving to school. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Did you see that happen? I saw that happen. Like, you know, it was going from that old, I want to say old, like it was old, you know, that sound of Konto, you know, very R&B ish into like new sounds where people oh, were now using like Fruity Loops. It was OJB that that's yeah, where I Silver Point. Mm. I person. saw everything, like I saw it start. You know, you talk about Rugged Man, even Wiz, like Wiz, Wiz used to come to the studio back then. Simeon, mm. Simeon. there were Simeon. loads of people who started. Even when Banky first came to Nigeria, it was OJ. Yeah. He was the go to person. Remember Two Faces' first album? Was Jigga, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Jigga. Know? And, and that's where everybody would just go to. There would literally be a lot of people outside just hanging outside. <laughs> that, <laughs> by just, you know, <laughs> just be there chilling. And those were the, the, the they were amazing times because. There was, it was genuine. It was very genuine, and the next person was willing to help this person because they know that together we need to forge yeah. something that can be what it is now in the future. And it hurts me to feel like a lot of that is lost now, mm -hmm. because a lot, a lot of people don't even know their history or know how this thing started. Yeah. They know that people like Sasha were the first people to ever receive the first uh, an MTV base award mm. and how. You know, back in the day, them tribesmen were doing shows in London through Aya Shunaya. Yeah. And, yeah. Shout out to Aya Shunaya. and then now, any little thing, like you're, now you're going on social media and be like, we do this, like, mate, yeah, yeah. chill. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like yeah. chill. And it's that's not just great. Documented. I'm not saying don't celebrate, yeah. but it just, it would be great if people knew the history of the Nigerian entertainment. Not to even mention the ones that were way um, before. before. Mm. Not to even mention. I, I always try, you know, um, and, I mean, we always try to start from when things kind of puffed off, which yeah. is like 98, 99. Yeah, that yeah. whole pop, Nigerian yeah, yeah. pop sound. Yeah. We give Chetula, the Michael Kreese, the Ebony and the Goli, the props, yeah. but really like that generation, generation. because I think that generation, I think the Michael Kreese generation is even more documented than yeah, the because 90, they, 90, had, yeah, the, they yeah. had the, the, the foreign BMI. Yeah, they had the foreign, the foreign labels, labels here. Yeah. You know, uh, my brother... Their music is better cataloged. Yeah, better, yeah. You know Michael Kreese music is on Apple Music. I mean, yeah. your what album you is there, but if you search for the album covers, you shall have zero. I can tell you, do you know this rapper called Empress? Do you remember Empress? Nope. Where's Queen Change? Yeah, Queen oh. Change. Yeah. Queen, Queen Change. Change. You know, like, where are these I people? Like, oh my oh. God. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> you guys all sit there. But it's I can, nowhere. I can't find our video it's on nowhere YouTube on the internet. Oh. It's not nowhere. So it's so sad. painful. So, yeah. that, See, that, era, that 90s, is before 90, 90s, that, that, yeah. disappeared. That yeah. 98 to 2000 or something. The TV stations, the MITVs. Yeah, yeah. And Buffalo Family Lasso, they will have it too. Because you showed a lot of movies. Even Ezra. Even Ezra. Yeah, yeah. Ezra. You showed a lot of movies yeah, yeah, back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I need to go and buy all that shit. Just collect it. <laughs> you, you have to, bro. Yeah, have to. Because that's I've been collecting these albums, but see, do you know I wake up at times and I just start panicking and I've not done enough? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I'm not collecting enough. I don't know. I don't there's always a layout yeah, of Nigerian yeah. music you find out every day. I like, oh, fam. See, you just bro, there is nowhere on the internet where you can listen to Tina Undiwe's music. 
No way. Look, it was in Kem. It's not. No, it's listen to it now. Which one? Where? Uh, I don't know why I don't I know. I think that's why. the only record. There are two. Yeah. There are two. There are two. Did I find it? I went mad. Asiko Lola. Around me, I'm a Asiko. Asiko. Wait, forget this one. Forget it. 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 I can't find this thing. Like, where can, where can I find it? Like, who can I meet? Where is Queen Change? She's somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in this world. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. With mad stories to so, tell us. So hmm? you know she's she's Yankee. Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's why we have you on the podcast. Father, can you find Alain Avenue on YouTube? No way. No, you can't. No, 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 no way. You can't. You can't. You can't. I've said you can't find Allen Avenue on Allen Avenue. Allen Avenue. Where Allen is Avenue. Allen what? <laughs> You know, a lot of people listening and they're saying like, "What the fuck?" But a lot of you listening are like, "Yes, yeah, yeah." Because the fam is is split into two. This is crazy. Wait, there's no Allen Avenue on YouTube. No, no. I can I can call records on records. Many records lost. That with MC period is also like a pop up period. Which yeah, I remember Allen Avenue video. That was like that was the peak where. So before the ninety, that was the era that she popped off. Yeah, the momentum wasn't strong. Enough, enough to, 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 to make exactly. it like so i mean that's that's where we are and you know we're trying now to recorrect all those things we're trying to rewrite history by all not even write history add to history or to really make these stories known so many stories you've told us now that can be built into separate stories and these people can add yeah. context and add someone can do a research and add your interview with k solo's interview with blackface's interview and corroborate a story yeah. that was a rumor mm. or that wasn't you know that didn't have any proof of or to trace a, a come up to trace, yeah. somebody's, to trace come somebody's come up, yeah. up exactly yeah. like you talked about San Sultan now Sultan. someone else talked about San yeah. Sultan can add it and create a story so that's why we do what we do you know and that's why when we have guests here it's a guest with a purpose and we try as much as possible to to make sure we we get Everything. That's to be a story. To Everything. Tell <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> I'm worried now. I'm not shaking. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why it's always long as hell. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, I think when was the first time you were introduced, like to media? Was it when the tribe was splitting? Because there was some sort of coverage. Yeah. Um. At that time, I really tried to hide my head. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> 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 like, you know. And, it, and, and I, I was mad yeah. young. I was younger than everybody else. Like, I was young. I was way mm-hmm. younger than all of yeah. them. And um, I would. And, sorry, you, in, in all of this, yeah. as a young girl, in all of this, like, were your parents worried? What were yeah. like? What you switch from gospel to. I yeah, you're switching from. Ch- yeah, 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 and, and moved on, but they didn't show you moved on. Well, like, it was, you, you start going was, home late. There's no quiet it was, moments. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was two ways because my dad has always been supportive. Yeah, my sister, I had one particular sister. Oh my god, I hope she's listening because she stressed my life. She would report me to my eldest brother and say to my brother that she wants to go and be singing at the shrine <laughs> do you know what they do there at the shrine yeah, i was yeah. really really young and my dad said listen this girl is adamant and she says this is what she wants to do you just don't know leave her alone hmm. and my brother was like she's not going anywhere i don't mind if you disown me i'm telling you the thing almost became a family problem yeah, and yeah. then i had to i had to chill but yes i would i skilled Fence. Fence. Like, mm. Standard. No, yeah. back then, I think it's that era, those. It, it, it was not because I was chasing boys. It was just I just Easy. wanted to do music. Like, yeah, 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 I would go out. I haven't had one time. This is crazy. My brother cut my hair because I came back really. I was at my brother's place <laughs> this is for some time, and um, I came back really late. I think my sister was supposed to go to school. She was in the last year. She was supposed to go to school. She was watching my brother's kid, and I didn't come back. On I was in the studio and I just forgot mm. when I came back. My brother cut my hair. Like I'm not even joking. I can never. He cut my hair. He said, "I cut on <laughs> He cut my hair, and it didn't stop me. I just was alive once I was in the studio. Yeah. I just was alive. 
I didn't even it didn't have it didn't have to be my song I would always follow Faze to the studio and the first time I met Cobams oh my god how did you run what year was that? I don't even know it was 2000 and something like the early like those 2000 maintain, those maintain era. <clears throat> maintain era. yeah it was because he was, was producing for maintain he was yeah he was still a unit like then okay mm -hmm. he produced like catch cold yeah, yeah that era yeah. that era where he was working with phase yeah. on, when um question mark yeah yeah oh, okay. no before then no it was way before phase alone era no 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 yeah. way before phase alone wow this was, this was way before phase alone that's way before we maintain i met kobam no, no, was not, uh, at uh this studio in um it was lagos island i went with faith and i don't know, i was looking at him like how i was just like like how I was is like, this guy doing this this guy's how? blind how is he doing it i was just looking at him like how what are you like i was looking at him like what are you and he was like okay so i need you to go there and i'm like who is this guy <laughs> <laughs> and then he said miola i've heard so much about you i was like <laughs> it was like i've heard so much about you Faze has told me so much about you so so there was a girl he was tr he was trying to so it was a movie soundtrack yeah yeah he was doing movie soundtrack he was doing a time movie time soundtrack time. that Faze had recorded it was called unburied skeletons hmm. and the girl i think the girl was the girlfriend of the producer and yeah. he wanted to go to sing on it at first but it wasn't sounding nice yeah. so they were having a hard time just finishing the recording it was like niola I don't mean to be rude but i don't know but i just believe i can hear that you can do this can you just do this one line for me oh my god. <laughs> 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 and then i went in the studio and i sang it was like oh my god i was so i was in awe of yeah. this man i yeah. was like how are you blind and they were like oh go here and i'm like how does he know what to do yeah, and obviously he was also young yeah. i'm yeah, like yeah. how hmm. And I had a whole conversation with him. He told me how he learned to play piano from the telephone, the sound of the telephone from five the nine nine yeah. nine. With and he used to play Mary had a little lamb with it. What the hell? And I now went home That's and started China. pressing my <laughs> yeah, real tel yeah. telephone in the house. Pop 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 pop. I started playing, trying to play Mary had a little lamb from the phone. Hmm. That's those are one of the things that I could never forget. These are things hmm. that have helped me you know you know helped me decide growing as, a, as an artist that yeah this is where i need to be yeah meeting kobams was one of those things wow meeting kobams was one of those things and sound sultan god bless him man god bless him. he pushed me he pushed me he pushed me he would write for me he would, he would say you better do it <laughs> you know, like you better do it and also freestyle um jump started i jump started free, freestyles make some noise productions he was mm. a producer and we did this song called um the first and one you know before before they split in yeah we never knew freestyle could produce no. yeah we all just thought ld production yeah. freestyle yeah. mad raps do you understand they're like, like mad raps and that's what we thought until i mean you know the split happened and we heard his album and we're like this guy. yeah and if i think that was one of the problems yeah oh my god i think that was part of the problem i feel he just felt like the tribe which was ld's outfit yeah was kind of taking away the original plan of what they were meant, of what to, they be. Were meant to be doing and it's not like he had a problem with the tribe it was just like okay yeah you're gonna call us for a show to do um i don't even know if i can say this but okay <laughs> uh, yeah you know like um tribesman is, is being called to perform a show and then it's now a thing like oh yeah is it a tribesman how about you get the tribe hmm. and so i feel he just felt like you can't be doing that yeah. like you know you can't be doing that especially if you're not consulting us if it's, if it's not that we're not a we're not a group yeah there is us it's, 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 and it's there's just, that yeah, yeah. and i think that was the problem but he probably didn't have the right ways to express his frustration and that's why he went the that way that he did. Yeah. So that's just how I can sum to so the, whole, um, the whole thing. So yeah, I started um, with Make Some Noise production and we did the song Me and You in the Club. I don't even know if, he, if, he, if anybody would know that. 
and that was the first time I ever put a song on the radio and it was crazy like Dan Foster um 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 and rhythm mm -hmm. they would play <laughs> they would play that song like they would play <laughs> that song Ray Power I was like no and this is when Nigerian music what? was just breaking on the radio. Yeah, yeah. Chemistry? Yeah. Shout out to chemistry. Oh my god. Rhythm. Oh my god. They played and played and played. So that was your first ever like your first That was my ever. first single. It was me and you in the club. Oh yeah, I like you feel it. Like you really wanna be I heard it some time ago, like I think last year I was like, no. This is me. This is me. And um, after that I did them say and whatever. I did them say and then I met um, Freestyle got signed to West Side. West Side, West Side is it? And then sorry, sorry. Before them say, after me and you the club, mm -hmm. there was no other record. There was a record. There was, a record. There was um. There was a no. It was them say afterwards. Mm. I've heard another record. I'm trying to remember the title. I can't. I can't remember that title. Like the first song I heard, not even. Before. It was no more us. No more. No more. No I was more. more. No more. I was yeah. say, I was yeah. say yeah. more. No more. I was say, I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah. I was say more. Something <laughs> like that. There was yeah. no more. Yeah. There was that. There was no more. And then. And then. And who was who was, who was producing this record? It was LD. Hmm. It was, um, oh, it was made LD. some noise production. Oh, okay. It was him. And then after that, when I got on West Side, yeah. was when I started working with OJ. So how did you get signed? Ah, what's the guy that owns West Side? I followed him on Facebook. Solomon Arroyo. Yes, Aurea. Solomon Arroyo. Fantastic. He had heard what I did with Faze. And hmm. he was like... And Faze was on West Side, the first album. was on West Side. And he said he wanted to work with me. And he wanted to work with Freestyle. And Freestyle was like, all right, cool. Because I didn't know nothing about nothing, you know. Like, so how were these contracts working? Like, who was reading your contract? Exactly. So FaZe had to bring... FaZe was already... Um, sorry. Uh, Freestyle was already signed to Now Music then, if you're more Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And Freestyle took me to Ife and said, I want you to manage her. Hmm. And Ife was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He said he, in his words, he said, "I thought you were just a pretty face with no head, with no brains." Whoa! And then that's what he said. You know how if he is. Yeah, straight up. He's like, "Yeah, I thought you were just." And then he heard my music and was like, "Yeah, have fucks with it." And then that's how we started working. So it was me, freestyle, raw, rugged man, God. Mr. Cool. God yeah. damn it! <laughs> Look at that. On yeah, if it was we face. era of Naomi's. That's that's the best era of Naomi's. That's that's Naomi Obey. Obey. That's, yeah. Yeah. Naomi Obey. Um, you packed a lot of things. Oh. How do you do that? That's no, that's that's that's, that's the best. Shout, 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 shout out to Ife. Shout, shout out to Ife Moore. And he had like he had like now the best managers under him. Like now the best artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had the best. He had all of them. He had Joyce. He had Don Donti. Donti. Yeah. Shout out to Donti. Jolomi. Jolomi. <laughs> that was um, the breakdance. Yeah. The breakdance competition. Yeah. Up. A whole lot of people. And so that's where it started from with my side. Wow. Wow. My first major, major show um, that I'd done was when Akon had first come to Nigeria. Yeah. Because Westside had brought Akon to Nigeria. And that was the first time I saw like a. Large. Like a. It was at the Oceanside. Echo Hotel. That's when Ocean yeah. Side was popping. Well, that was the, that was the Echo that's, Hotel that's before Echo Hotel. Uh, yeah. That's the phone now. Yeah, there is. Yeah. That's the phone. Mate. Back then, boys couldn't even get in. Yeah. Get in. <laughs> now, for hip hop, with the city photos. Oh, this would it be was, the case of father. That <laughs> was my first like major concert. I'd done shows at Do It All here and mm -hmm. there. Do I would do all. shows ah, do it every now and again. God damn it, Nora, man. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Anytime Steve does something like a millennial. Why did you know anything? It was in Ugeli no. Delta was it was so? a, was a was one back then. You know. Delta was sick. On Padek. You know this is not the internet. You know how Syria is. You know how Syria is. This is not the internet era. So we just get with what Sound City gives us. Oh, what radio is giving them? Or the magazines that can they can read? Like the really Lagos music culture. That period. They just put me through. Yeah. yeah. Just moved me to it. Like Gave him like a crash course. Crash yeah. course. Okay. In 2008 when he started fucking with me. Yeah. But I know my shit though. For somebody who grew up in Dead State. Yeah, no, 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 no,
Yeah, the East was still if it was any good, yes. You understand? Know, 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 this is this is Ugeli not in Delta. The Hinterlands. The Hinterlands. You know how Syria is. The Bulldogs are the South South. Fantastic, oh. fantastic. So, signed to West Side Music. Um, That's why I started working with OJB. Mm -hmm. Please bring it on. First of all, first things first, man. Shout yeah, out shout out to OJB. First things first. Yeah. May, may he rest in power. Um, tell us, what's the experience like working with, with OJB? Yeah, because I, you know, I listened to your album, and my best track on your album, that album, Go. Oh, I love that Oh, no, no, OJB. OJB is too good. Yeah. But like, what was it like? Because this is gold OJB. This is OJB amazing. touch anybody turn to mm. superstar. Do you know this that is once point I beats, released that silver album, point. once I released that album, it was not mixed. <laughs> that what? Was, what? That album wasn't mixed. They, they put it out. They put it out. Why did Mr. Ruya put out that album? Because he didn't know any better. Thing is good. What's like about? <laughs> <laughs> well, back then, now, just a rough one. Back then, people just a rough one. What are people talking about? This is wild, wild west, man. Let's just give it to the um, Alaba people. It's Alaba era, man. Put it out. Yeah. Peter Follon show. You just do the disc <laughs> to them. and the cover. Oh, good. <laughs> good. I took you back, man. <laughs> good. He was the one doing all the. He wasn't Peter Follon show now. He would do all the parts. So every CD pack. Just see printed by yeah, the top of the show. That guy, that guy. <laughs> that guy, 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 I, I think Westside had a, a, a Joe something. What's his name again? TJ. TJ. TJ was the man back then. Uh. TJ was the don. TJ was so hot. TJ dropped yeah. his own album. I know. He comp like a compilation album. Oh, really? TJ yeah. had a record yeah. label. Yeah, yeah TJ record. Yeah, TJ record. Yeah, record. No, I haven't thought you once. Music say. business is TJ records. Yeah, yeah, too I, short. I, I thought you was saying yeah. like it was. He was so big. Yeah, he did it. He called. He called for a plantation album. He said. Yes, he did. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he called for a plantation album. Said, no, no, no. I want you guys to come together. I want an album. And the money's good. Come on, fuck it. You know, I'm the one talking about. The money is so now. Yeah, no, 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 plan B. The plan B, plan B, sorry. Plan B. Plan B. Yeah, 2007. Yeah, yeah, come together, yeah, I want you guys to do an album. He like, said, like, <laughs> like, you guys come back. Because they were all hot. They were all hot. He said, come on. Shout out to you. For Pisco, I was doing photo shoots for them. I was just like giving them money for videos. You know what? We need to get to John Focus. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah we're going to get to John Focus. We have to. Yeah. We have to. Anyway, so when the album dropped, mm -hmm. and I can still remember the album cover, mm -hmm. why was it self titled? Why is it self titled, Nero? It was self-titled because I couldn't just think of a name that was more I like appropriate. Honesty, I couldn't think of anything that was more appropriate. I felt like, okay, my name is Eniola and my dad would call me Eniola. And so mm -hmm. I coined that out of it. And FaZe would also call me Neola. Mm -hmm. And that's how a lot of people... Wait, hold on. Are you trying to tell me at that, as at the time you met, like LD, all that period... I was already before? Neola. Okay, okay, oh, okay, okay, right, okay cool. Was it Neil? Because it was phase. It was really phase and freestyle that pushed me into it. It was an accident. I did not plan hmm. to do it. It was an accident. Freestyle was like, do you know what you can achieve? Do you know that you have something that you can do? Phase's way was to always try to put me on his records and it would take me to shows with him and it would call me out to make <laughs> come up and perform with him. Mm -hmm. But Freestyle took me in the studio and made me record. Like, do this record, do yeah, this song, like, do th let's produce yeah, this. Yeah, you would make me write up like i don't know how to write like this and you this is how you write like just mm. you know and he did that for me so talented yes, yes. yes. Yeah. did you always yeah. call him freestyle or inform i used to call him inform i never really called him freestyle yes yeah, I, I never just Ooh, freestyle call doesn't look like an inform yeah it like, I, call him freestyle, I never called him i yeah. think because when i met him he had introduced himself to me as inform so you know why i asked you yeah tough question you know why i asked you about like the media yeah so again coming from my perspective reading you know the magazines listening on radio talking with my friends there was always a lot of buzz between you and freestyle yeah. like you guys were in a relationship or oh, this or oh, that how did that come about well, because it's when people see man and woman together, they must talk. They must Not talk. I think we were, I think we were really bored at that point. So, 
No, because see, they, they, they doubled down. No, they doubled down. They doubled down on it. It was. It wasn't like it was an actual problem. Like it was an actual. Problem. And how did you handle it? Before I started doing music, before I decided to do music, I the, the one person that I know that I really studied was Genevieve, hmm. and I and oh, I was no, no, just that's first first yeah, that's I, like the, yeah, that's first <laughs> I studied her and I was like, this woman, they would say this about her, say that about her, and I realized that people would say a whole lot of things about you. you. All you need to know, you have to know who you are before you come into this business. If not, you run mad. Mm. And so I really didn't care what anybody said. What only what matters matters. And that's facts, what me, facts. So. But did it affect your relationship with him? No, not in the slightest. Because freestyle, I mean, freestyle is freestyle anyway. He's who he is, and, I, and I'm King Free. I'm who I am, so they didn't, they didn't. So how did you not get in touch with, like, Paul Play again? Tell me, like, walk us through the, the, the production and the process of putting the album together. I would go from my, from, I was in journalism school, mm. and I would go from school. N-I-G. 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 I went there for a minute. All right, sure. Steve went, I went to the I went there for like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve went there for a year. Oh, man. Really? Yeah, and yeah. I went to the one owned by PM News. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, that must have still yeah. been better. Man, I'm not sure it's better. Yeah. IJC. Yeah. So I would go from Ikeja every day to Shomobi and we would just lock ourselves up in the studio. We had all sorts of people. Made D. Um, yo, yo, hold on. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, Maybe was a lag boy then. Right? Maybe was a lag boy. Maybe yeah. used to come with his partner. He had a partner called Ope that they used to make music together. Wow. Mm. Um, DJ Z's, all of them started oh. from that lab. We used to call him Muffy's lab. <laughs> Oh, it processes hard. Uh, man, you have to go. You can't avoid. So the you people that listen that you just dropped your SoundCloud leak yesterday. Uh, first, yeah, first, yeah, first. I am disturbing me my Instagram. Uh, yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> you don't do seven years first of all in the wilderness. Not for me. Too long. He said he has sent you. I said I'm supposed to write down now. That's what I do. Yeah. Like I don't listen. to I don't listen to music. Leave me alone. I said send it to you. He said I've sent it to Osaki. Osaki is not replying me. I said send him again. No, but it's different now though because now you have the social media. Yeah, man. You like. I always say that's that. the thing, they don't want the process. But can you skip that? You can't process. skip that. Process. 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 What? what? Am I not, Let Emma come and tell you how we used to go from from um from Fadei yeah. to Ray Power in Alagbado for interviews. Alagbado. You enter bus. <laughs> <laughs> you literally <laughs> enter bus and or enter phone. bike. <laughs> yeah. To go. Like, it was like crazy it. and it was not like it's not like you really really expected any remuneration no. of any sort it was just it's just the passion. this is what it's makes just, my heart yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. this is what i really want to do to be yeah. fair with the new age guys too i don't think also think it's about money it's also about yeah, it's that about passion yeah it's about yeah, that yeah. passion but yeah, it's yeah. like most of them want to speed up the process that's, that's mm-hmm. the issue yeah. but i also can't really blame them because the process looks as if it's that's what it is like no. it, it has to be sped up yeah social media instant gratification you know instant mm-hmm. acceptance yeah. so it's really not their fault they are just born in a time if when they were in a time them. where nobody was seeing them it, they will see. still go through you still go through now yeah. during that process during the process everybody everybody the, the eyes are on you because there's instagram you have to show up you have to put imagine put if two face came yeah. in this era yeah. as yeah. talented as, as it, as he is, he will still think yeah. it's the drop, the single, then try and push it and all that. So, also, I think the whole the you know timing changed, and the yeah. dynamics of everything has changed. It's changed and it's. I still, there's, a, there's a there's a girl. Shout out to Shay. Her name is Shay Okunaiki. She's really talented. She plays, I think, four instruments. Oh, wow. She she's she plays the bass guitar. Hmm. She plays the guitar and she plays I think the drums and the and she plays piano. Wow. And I met her in London and she was like, oh, she wants to come to Nigeria. She just wants to come to me. I'm like, stop! Don't do it. Why is that for instruments? I need to acknowledge it. I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> I'm like, don't believe the facade. It's yeah. great if you have something you're coming to do mm-hmm. here. But don't believe that the grass is greener on the other side. Mm. Just keep doing what you're doing and then just the dots will connect. Yeah. Look yeah. at Malik. Malik started from here. Yeah. And it took him to go back. And mm. just be in his own comfort zone and do mm-hmm. him, and just do him for him yeah. to now be paid attention to, and a whole lot of people. And I say to people that it's not about where you are; it's the jet age, the internet age. Like That'd from wherever anywhere. you are, you can do yeah. anything from anywhere. Yeah. You know, anything from anywhere. My my cousin was telling me recently that Naya Mali is actually UK based. Yeah, yeah he is. Uh, I was blown away. He he is where, is where I need a four million. He's not allowed to leave the country. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's not, even he's not allowed to leave the country. 
if they catch Naramali. Okay, so <laughs> all right, shout out to Naramali, yeah, and everything. But yeah, I mean, and I, I had no idea. Yeah. I thought it was. Oh, man, I had yeah, no man. idea. Maybe that song blew off like the international. Yeah. There's something. There's a connection somewhere. I was watching uh, the World Cup yeah. in London, yeah. Yeah. and they played. Yes, now it's a <laughs> good. I was whiling. I was Molo and I that were we were yeah. whiling. We were like, yo. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This UK thing. So the process of the album. Yeah. The, pro- the, the process production. of the album. Yeah. yeah, we just go there every day. We had no structure or Who was the format. Chief engineer there, like recording, taking vocals, producing. Freestyle did everything. Wow. It was you know how the setup was then. Mm-hmm. You have your mic, you have your computer, you have your speakers. Take your vocals. And you have your um sound sound card and that was it that was it wow so how did you get the beats because Paul Play did some production yeah album. I would go to Paul Play studio every time that's where I met Case Solo yeah mm. and I'd be like listen to what I've done you like you just girl your voice <laughs> like, you yeah, that's 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 yeah, he said it. He said I it. did um, this jingle yeah. for. I used to do a lot of. Matter of fact, I did a lot of jingles back in the day. Okay, Solo said, you know, he did the Indomie mm-hmm. jingle. Indomie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of jingles. My God, that was that was how I made money in in in, yeah. in school. At least you got paid. I would ah. get paid three k, five k. So for the ad agencies, right? Yeah. For the ad agencies, like it was bullshit money, but it was. At that time, yeah. it was it was it, it was, was yeah. it was something. I just broke my nail. But oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So um, I did a lot of jingles. Um, I met Del B. We did a jingle for Coke. Wow. And a Christmas jingle. It is Christmas. I do it. No, no, no. It was it was um, Del B that produced that, and that's where I met El- um, Del B and Casey Lord. Oh, please, and Paul Play told, I mean, sorry, Kesolo told us something very interesting that blew our minds away. That um, he co produced, I mean, or he started like main production of um, Forever. Yeah. And that you had vocals on the song. Yeah, yeah. And when he it said, was, it, he said it, we didn't I don't know if you watched the video, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. we yeah. lost yeah. our minds. So he said it and was like, it, it was like, it was a part of his story. You're yeah. like, no, calm down. No, he, no this is what he said, let me blame mine. Let yeah, me yeah, yeah, let me blame Let me shock you. Let me shock you. Let me shock you. Let me shock you. Guess who was on the vocals? Oh, like, we don't know. And he said, Niola. Oh, God. And we lost it. Because we never knew who was on the vocals. We thought that song was probably recorded in Yankee somewhere. Oh, so yeah. you know. Yeah, it was. It was. So how did you get on that song? It was Paul Play. He called me and said he wanted my vocals on it. Hmm. And some songs. Okay. And I went there and I did it. And it sounded nice. It's an amazing song. I used song. to do a lot of background vocals for people. Yeah. I did share my heart for Faze. Hmm. Share mm. my heart you. I did a lot of background vocals like that. I, I myself don't even. I mm. did a lot of that. They would just call you and be like, "What are you doing?" Come through, and <laughs> Come I would through. just go. Like I was it just was happy to go, yeah. and that's how it was in, the, in in those days. And for OJB also, it was easy. We'd just be in the studio. OJB would just lay one or two things. It's like, okay, what comes to your mind? Like, um, I don't know. Let me bust your brain. Mm-hmm. Bring it on. Yeah. I'd done an original version, which had rappers on. It had slug. Remember slug? Yes. It had slug. It had I can't even remember the people on it now. Rough Rugged and Rough. Rough No. I think it had a whole bunch of rappers. About I don't remember. Jaffa. No, not even none of those people. It had um slug, it had freestyle, it had I think rugged. I don't even know. And then Jazz Man. <laughs> you know Jasmine and OJB were really cool. Yeah, five yeah. and six. So Jasmine heard it. And said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might need that beat. I want to write a verse for you on that thing. And then you were in the studio that day, and then he gave, he said something like, um, "Why you wanna put me down? Just when I start to come around, looking at me, I swear to God, that's how you." That's how we co-wrote the song. Wow! Bring wow. it on was co- co-written by. Wait, wait, if you look at it. That's actually Jasmine's flow. You're like, wait a minute. That's actually Jasmine's flow. Say, I'm no good. 
Oh man! Yeah, I don't know if you guys know how Jasmine writes or oh, how he sings, but that is his flow. Yeah, that's that's how that song came about. Because there was an original man, version. Jasmine was in the band before the band. Yeah, I tweeted that thing one time, and you know people people cut you out. No, they didn't. Oh. People actually agreed. Oh, okay. Jasmine laughing. Oh Jasmine, my god. Jasmine is dope, and that's how that came about. Why are you? Ah, that's so Jasmine like. Like Jasmine is responsible for my love for Lagos now. Really? That uh, for shit. That's a Lagos song. Oh shit. That's a cool yeah. 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 That's a cool song. Yeah. Wow. Did you ever meet Lexi do Jasmine's? What? You know when they were X. Uh, what's the name of the group? Um, X A P U. X A P U. Till the break of the day. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. That's that's the first time I met Kathy. Wow. Oh, it was yeah. Yeah, that's another person who may she has contributed so much so much, mm. yeah. so much. at the time it was her michael dnmc yeah, they were yeah. all in that's not the main together. thing yeah, and it was yellow festival that we were doing ah, shout out to MCM. Shout i used to MCM. perform Put some I, would, I used to up. perform um that's how sasha's clothing line started because it was a thing of she couldn't really find things that she wanted to wear mm. that made her like, she like i know how i want to look yeah. and so we would go to yaba market and buy fabric and mm. find a tailor that, that would tailor things to look exactly how we wanted oh. and that's how she started making people would stay on her and be like oh this top this. how did you make this you're like you want it i can make it for you <laughs> and yeah. that's how she started equipping by sasha yeah. I mean, I don't wow. know. I can't tell you the full story. Yeah, it's not well, my that, thing. Yeah. But that's that's. We need to get Sasha. Yes, yeah, Sasha, Sasha definitely needs to We need to get Sasha on the focus. Sasha definitely, Sasha wow. definitely needs to needs to be here. Wow. And it was yellow at the time. I met Kathy at Lexi Do's um, video shoot. Like to do was dating my cousin at the time. So he used to bring this. I remember Sasha. I remember Kathy now. This is when X Appeal had split and Jasmine was doing his thing. Um, um, and they were still killing it though. Like, solo artists, they were killing, killing it. it. That yeah. was the first time I met Kathy. And Kathy killed that video. Kate, yeah. Kate, 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 Kate. And then after that, it was um, Rugged. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. Come <laughs> that video eh, almost stopped you the live because the day you watched it, uh, the problem. Not sure that level for today. I still remember the shoot. I That's the main thing. Yeah. Rock yeah. From, uh, I rock from every I land. I am yeah. quicker than a ah rocket man. No 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 no. Jujujum. Joe Kenny. 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 He's still producing. Joe Kenny was obviously. Um, OJB's prodigy, yeah, and he, sometimes you can this style, by the way. Yeah, yeah. he would start, Jiga would start the beat at the time, and like, Yeah, Joe just finish it, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh. And that was that was that was um, oh, that was <laughs> that was the what person. an era. So, people are just chilling, girls because what everybody wanted era. the OJB, OJB touch. Yeah. Touch. he ah. would give it to you like this now. And, that was like when they would say Jokeni, um, they would not put OJB production. Yeah, yeah. OJB. Exactly. Okay, yeah. came through our house. OJB probably yeah. touched, yeah. did the yeah. final yeah. touch. Yeah. 